Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle Kaysen and welcome back to my survival world. And we're here in the nether because I've got something very special to do this episode, and that is this. We're going to walk right through this nether portal. This nether portal is at one of the three, um, shit, what are they called? It's at one of the three ocean monuments, and I haven't walked through it yet, so I don't know quite where the portal is going to spawn. And uh, hopefully it doesn't spawn underground. But what I want it to do is I want it to be able to teleport me up in the portal and do all that other stuff. Because we want to go raid the ocean monument today. I've got a golden apple. I've got potions of water breathing, some potions of regen, some potions of strength. I've got pretty much my best gear. So we're going to run in there and we're going to do some good. And here's to hoping it goes well. So I will be right back. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to see this portal ends up. Okay, I hear the guardians. And I actually have never seen this before. Oh, there's the temple. Okay. So... This is going to be fun getting out of here. Oh boy. Um, well, shucky darns. This is what happens when you put another portal out in the middle of everywhere. So once I jump in there, I can't leave this place until all of the things are dead because I can't really mine anything. And I do have enough... What Y level am I at? I'm at Y level 115. I do have enough to get up from Y level 0 up to here because I have 124, or actually 128 plus some netherrack. So I can get back up here. That's the good part. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump down there. And one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drink this. Oh boy. And we're just going to hop in. Oh boy. Break the line of sight. There you go. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of guys in here. There's one of our stupid guardians. Okay. Alright. Um, I need to rethink how I'm going to fight this guy. Uh, yeah. This is what I'm going to do. I need to get over to where he's at and I need to kill him. Break the line of sight. Break the line of sight. I'm going to give myself a wall here. Ow. Okay. All right, buddy. Aha. Okay, so the stuff does travel through the water fairly well. We need to kill this guy, because if we don't, Okay. Get out from behind my barriers. Eek. How's my water breathing doing? Okay. I gotta kill this guy pretty fast. Alright, that's one down. Okay. There's another Elder Guardian. Oh. Alright, dude. 
Come on, let's do this. Got a third sponge. I please let the oh here we go, found him. And we got rid of the third one. So that's all good. This monument can now be mined in. Which is good. It means that we can go ahead and conquer this place as soon as that mining fatigue wears off because all three of the Elder Guardians have been destroyed. I've only got three sponge though, which is a pain because I'm going to need more sponge. So I'm going to keep looking around for as long as I can to see if I can find a sponge room. If I can't, then oh well. We'll keep raiding and because I've still got a few more of these things. Okay, so further searching has decided to tell me that there is no sponge inside of this specific water temple. However, there still are two more that I can hunt for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back through the nether and I'm going to go find the other two water temples one by one. Uh, but first I need to head back to my base and get more potions of water breathing and I think my armor should be fine. We didn't use too much resources, but we did get a decent uh, score of loot. And by raiding these other temples, we'll also be able to kill a few more Elder Guardians and get some more sponge, so I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the second of the water temples that I found. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and first off get affected by, you know, mining fatigue. And then second, we're gonna go ahead and dive in my boat's gonna stay right down there, which is good to go. And we're gonna get shot by a shit ton of guardians here, but that's okay. And we're in. All right. So let's go find ourselves some bosses. I found you. Give me your sponge. <sighs> okay, we got hit one down. Now we gotta find another one. I believe that was the guy at the top of the monument, though. Eek. It seems as if the layout for a lot of these is actually the same. Alright, on to the next boss. Alright guys, I found a sponge room in this one, so we're good to go for sponge. I'm gonna go see if I can find the rest of the bosses inside of this place. Urgh, this is so slow. There's no way over to the sides to get to the other bosses, so I have to do this. Oh, I'll be right back. Alright, and now it's time to charge into battle. We first should probably focus these guys. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I can't really see. That's okay. Alright. One more down. One more to go. Come on. Die. Just die. Okay. I think I've killed enough of you guys to where I can focus down this guy. There we go. That's the second one down. Time to go get the third. He should be over here. It's a great thing that I have Depth Strider because that just made this so much easier. Uh, I have 42 seconds, so let's go ahead and refresh that. Alright. Yeah, he should be down here if he's anywhere. No. Just die already. Sheesh, there you are. I can't believe I couldn't find you earlier. Mm. That took so long to find all of these guys. Alright, so now our mining fatigue should wear off. And once it does, it won't refresh, which means we can go ahead and grab our sponge. And then we're going to go raid the, uh, the third monument that I found. And from there, we'll see if we can actually get some more sponge to make... Clearing out one of these monuments a hell of a lot easier. I've already gone to the desert and mined a bunch of sand, but essentially my goal is to make a ton of, uh, get a ton of prismarine, not make a ton of prismarine, but I want to exploit one of these monuments to build a farm in survival. It's a massive, massive project that I myself have never done before, so I'm super excited to give it a shot. So let's go get our sponge. Alright, I cleared up the sponge room, which gave me a total of 31 sponge, and I've already gotten the gold blocks out of here, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head out of this guardian temple and back to our nether, and we should be good to go.
So I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're here at the third of the water temples that I had discovered. So we're gonna go ahead and jump on in and see what we can find. I'm pretty sure we should be able to find some interesting things down here, but what I'm hoping mainly for is more sponge. Because I only want to set up another portal to one of these things, so if I can do that, that would be great. Now I can't really see, which is unfortunate, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run around here, see if I can find the bosses, and then we'll see what happens. I'll be right back. Alright, just killed another one of the bosses, and got ourselves another sponge. On to the next one. Die! Seriously, this is the eighth one of these I've killed today? Jesus. They don't have a lot of health, as far as I can tell, but we're up to 34 sponge, so we're doing pretty good, I can tell. Or at least as far as I can tell, we're doing pretty good. I'm hoping to find more sponge, though, so we'll see what we can find. Alright, be back in a sec. That didn't take long to find the final one, and no, no, I dropped my sword. Let me pick it up. Thank you. Eesh. Eesh. Oh my god, I need to eat. <sighs> the last sponge. That puts us up to like, what, 32 sponge in total? Which isn't bad. I don't know exactly how much that is in comparison to everything else, so we'll see. Come on now. Where are you? Quit hiding from me. That's all three of these guys killed, which means I can kind of mine in here if I really need to. Uh, but we're looking for a sponge, so I'll be right back. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting here in another sponge room that was inside of this temple, and now that I found out, I'm gonna go ahead and collect up all the sponge, and then I'll see you back at base, because this was my last water temple. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you back in a second. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out of the water temple, and here's what I've gotten so far. I've gotten 82, or, sorry, 62 sponges, 16 blocks of gold. I'm going to go ahead and throw the prismarine out because I can craft it now. And I've got the sea lanterns, which I grabbed out of this temple just because they were there. So I'm going to head back to base and we're going to go ahead and gather some materials to get started on our guardian farm. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here at my base. And here's what I've got in my inventory. We're going to head right back over to the ocean monument that we first raided and we're going to start setting up the perimeter around it so I can kind of square off the area that I need to go ahead and empty out. And this will be the end of the episode once we've got this perimeter started and then when next you see me, we will go ahead and pick up where we left off. This is probably going to be a multiple episode project just because it's so huge. Hopefully we can get it all done though. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'll see you at the Guardian Temple. Okay then, ladies and gentlemen, I am here at the Guardian Temple, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hop in, and we're going to go ahead and mark out where these things need to be with four pillars, and then once we're, we've got those things marked out, I'm going to go ahead and call the episode here, and when we pick it up, we're going to go ahead and put the perimeter around and start making our little quadrants, so I'll see you guys later. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, the corners of our guardian farm are marked out with these little torch lit uh, squares. So once all of those are lit, we're going to be good to go and ready to take off. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm Kyle Kaysen, and I'll see you on the flip side.